Hello, welcome back to my channel, Lynette here, and today I'm going to be talking about natural concoctions you can mix up at home for tinnitus. I know a lot of you suffer with tinnitus. I dealt with a lot of patients with it that had no remedy, and I don't know what they do in the hospital for it. Sometimes it's therapy, sometimes they may have eardrops depending on what the diagnosis but these are a few natural remedies if you're struggling with this um, we're just going to get right into the video and get started according to myoclinic.com symptoms of tinnitus involves the sensation of hearing sound when no external sound is present tinnitus symptoms may include these types of phantom noises in your ears ringing buzzing roaring clicking hissing humming. The phantom noise may vary in pitch from a low roar to a high squeal and you may hear it in one or both ears. In some cases the sound could be so loud it can interfere with your ability to concentrate or hear external sound. Tinnitus may be present all the time or it may come and go. Common causes of tinnitus. Age-related hearing loss, exposure to loud noise, ear wax blockage, ear bone changes. Other causes of tinnitus, Meniere's disease, TMJ disorders, head injuries or neck injuries, acoustic neuroma, astrostuchian tube dysfunction, muscle spasms in the inner ear, arthrosclerosis, head and neck tumors, high blood pressure, turbulent blood flow, and malformation of capillaries. Medications that can cause tinnitus, antibiotics, cancer medications, water pills, quinine medications, and certain antidepressants, aspirin. Tinnitus can significantly affect quality of life, although it affects people differently. If you have tinnitus, you may also experience fatigue, stress, sleep problems, trouble concentrating, memory problems, depression, and anxiety and irritability. According to the LostHerbs.com, for centuries, garlic has been used to treat a variety of ailments, specifically earache, ear infection, and tinnitus. Drug stores and health stores are selling commercially made garlic oil eardrops that you can use instantly. However, if you prefer to make your own garlic oil at home, you can follow these easy steps. Number one, prepare one clove of peeled garlic. Crust or chop in a pan. Mix two to four tablespoons of olive oil. Warm the oil and the garlic in low heat. Swirl the oil around the pan until it produces its natural aroma. Remove the pan from the heat and let the mixture cool at room temperature. Transfer the mixture into the jar while straining out the garlic pieces. Before using it directly to yourself, do a simple test first. Apply a drop in a small part of your inner arm and observe for redness or itching. If there is none, proceed to the next step. Put two to three drops of warm garlic into the ears for 10 to 15 minutes, alternating with the other ear. The remaining oil should be stored in the refrigerator to use when needed. Ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba is one of the natural ways you can use to treat tinnitus. Have a standardized extract of ginkgo three times a day with meals for two months. This method will help increase your blood circulation on your head and neck relieving the symptoms of tinnitus gradually. ACB has antibacterial and antifungal properties that help treat the ringing problem. Just take two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar to a glass of water and mix well. You may also add honey to the mix if you like. Drink this mixture two to three times a day for faster results. It should be taken with food to avoid an increase in stomach acidity. Ginger tea. This natural ingredient is an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent that helps ease the pain caused by tinnitus. Prepare ginger, one half teaspoon, let it soak for 15 minutes. 
Drain the mixture and drink the tea. You may add honey or lemon for additional flavor. Drink this at least three times a day for best results. Another natural way to treat tinnitus is by using coconut oil. Coconut oil has antifungal, antibacterial, and antioxidant properties that can combat certain infections. To use coconut oil, prepare and warm the oil in a pot for three to five minutes. Let it cool. On the affected ear, pour one to two drops of warm oil. Leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes or until absorbed. This will help loosen the earwax, which sometimes causes the ringing in your ears. Stress and anxiety causes tinnitus too. One way to relieve this is by taking magnesium-rich sources of food, such as sunflower seeds. Simply prepare one to two teaspoons of sunflower and a glass of water. Place the mixture in a pot and boil for five minutes. Strain the mixture and remove the sunflower seeds. Again, you can add honey, for flavor. Drink two times daily for the best results. Molin is native to European countries and was brought to North America continent. Since then, it has been recognized for its healing benefits. You can use one to two teaspoons of dry leaves in a cup of oil and water. Steep for 10 minutes and strain. Then drink. One teaspoon is equivalent to 0.5 grams of the drug. Three to four grams per day is needed dose to improve your tinnitus. Pineapple is commonly found worldwide. It has vitamins A and B which people with tinnitus are lacking. To try this, just prepare a peeled pineapple about one fourth part of it or you can cut it in pieces and blend it with a cup of water. Drink this mixture throughout the day or eat in small pieces every day for the best result. Okay, so that was natural remedies for tinnitus, things that you can mix up at home. I hope this is it. I hope this video blesses you. Um, remember that I do this because I am here for you. And as always, if I left something out, please leave it in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember that you are beautiful and I love you. That can get too big. <laughs> Meant to come out here a couple of days, but it started raining. Then it was the Sabbath, so I stayed in. So there we have it. It's gotten too big. You see, it's about as big as my hand. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Too tough to eat.